right, listen, I don't want to hear anybody saying to me that Levy is a is a is a top negotiator. I don't want to hear that rubbish here. Yeah? Either Levy did a ride out on Kane, like literally put Stormzy in the car, and man them went up to Kane's yard and 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 stuck it on him. <laughs> oh, oh, or Levy must have um he must have he must have took Kane's family and put them in in a van. Or something, or he's got a tape. He, he he's got a tape on Kane. He must have like a, a, a sex tape or something. He's something a right. How the hell is Kane still a Tottenham player? To the point, man got pimp slapped back into training. Literally, man got pimp. Get get back into training. <laughs> How the hell is Harry Kane? Still a Tottenham player, when he he's done an interview with Gary Neville to say that he, he wants to cut, and someone needs to put up a hundred k for um hundred mil for him, so he can go. He said he's got a trade. He said he's got a um, gentleman's agreement. He 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 goes on strike. How the hell is he still staying at Tottenham? Nah, nah. <laughs> this is a madness. This is mad. Mad. I don't even know what to say. If, nah, Levy, listen, this BS that Levy is a tough negotiator, what the hell has he said to Kane? For Kane to, man, I'm telling you, man got pimp slapped today. Listen, if there, if there is a case study now for... When, when when people are saying the players have got the power, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Man got pimp slapped. Man got pimp slapped back into training. Man got pimp. Man, listen, look, look. If you don't believe what I'm saying, listen, look, look at this. Look, Kane. This is Kane's statement on Twitter, right? It was incredible to see the reception from the Spurs fans on Sunday and to read some of the messages of support I've had in the, in the last few weeks. I will be staying at Tottenham this summer and will be 100% focused on helping the team achieve success. Now, you know that there will be no success at Tottenham, Kane. What are you talking about? What are you talking about in comparison to potentially what Man City will do? Man City won a trophy every season, I think, for the last four, three, four years. You had Tottenham, who haven't won a trophy since Lineker, I think. Was it Lineker? Scored that goal in 91? Or did they get? I'm sure they got a league cup. In, I that's how bad it is. I don't even. I don't remember when Tottenham won the trophy. And Kane's gonna stay. Because he wants to. Like really, you re listen. You didn't have a choice. You're saying I will be staying. That's pimp talk, man. Like, Shut up. Get over there. That's what that was. Because that's not you. That's not you saying you're staying. You're you're staying because you can't go. Madness. But no one wins. This is, do you know what? I personally think, I'm not a chairman, obviously. I don't run a football club. But to me, this is bad business from Levy. All, all the other moves that he's done in the past, I think Tottenham have um, technically been better off. I mean, they messed up with the um, bail money, but that was the manager, I would say, after that. He, he, initially, he got that money, got the deal. Um, but this is this don't make sense. This don't make sense for anybody. Kane don't want to be there. Man City want to take him. What, you're not winning. Tottenham are not winning. Tottenham need the money to rebuild. Sell him. I don't. I don't get it. Now you got a player. 
who realistically doesn't want to be there, but is now going to pretend that he wants to be there and he's going to do his best for the team. Like, oh, I, I don't get it. The only thing, the only logic, the only logic I can think is that, and this is this is where I say, again, Daniel Levy, I just think your ego is too big. Levy don't, Levy obviously doesn't like that Kane stuck it on him. He wants to show that you can't do this to us at this club, right? Because if Kane does it, everybody else will try and run up on, basically, if anyone has a good season or two, they're going to run up on the club in the same way. The only thing I can think of, right, that makes any form of sense is that Kane is going to, um, City are going to come back in January. Kane's going to play, he's going to try his best, get Tottenham in a decent position um, until January. This gives time for Nuno to bed himself in and look for a replacement. So he'll play Kane, but I think he already knows he's on borrowed time with Kane. He's going to look for a replacement, whether it's Jimenez or someone else, but Nuno's going to look for someone. Because if he if he sells him now, he's got no time to buy anyone. He's got no time for the scouts to go out, search, do the deal, do the medical before the deadline next week. So if they sell Kane today, it's just bad. Again, it's bad business. But to me, Kane definitely doesn't want to be there. But he don't want the fans to turn on him. Because he, he, he now he's effed. He's effed. He can't move. So... He can't come out now and be... He can't throw his toys out the pram. He's doing damage limitation. So Kane is saying, I love it. I love being Spurs. I'm going to stay. I'm not going this summer. <laughs> Watch the talk. Watch the talk. I'm not going this summer, right? Doesn't say that you're not going in the winter. Doesn't say that you're not going at some stage this season. I'm not going this summer. So what he's probably done... Because remember, Levy is not in a great position as well. If Kane goes in and Kane plays crap for the rest of the season, his value's gone down. If he plays crap for the rest of the season, it affects Tottenham. If he plays crap and just run down his contract, Tottenham lose money and not get and they're not getting value for money. I think basically he's he said he said to Kane, I don't like how you kind of try to move to me. Can't let you do that. So here's the deal. This gentleman's agreement that you think we had. Right, I'm gonna still honor it, but Man City ain't reaching my my one fifty mark. But I know you want to go. But we, if we sell you now, I ain't got time to get someone else in. Hear the drama. Give me until Christmas. Try your best. Get us where you want to get. Man City come back in for you Christmas time. By then, Nuno's got his um the person he's gonna do, and we'll work out a deal, and you can go. You can go for the new year in the transfer window. Mark my words, that's what's going to happen. Mark my words. I'm not no, listen, I'm the ordinary guy off the road, yeah? I don't know football agents. I don't know celebs. I'm not in the, um, I'm not part of the media and I don't have no connections on them on them levels, yeah? I'm a, I'm a normal guy just assessing the situation. But to me, I bet you any money that's what's going to happen. Because this situation, no one wins. But I bet you any money. January, Kane ain't going to say none. Kane ain't going to kick up. I'll tell you what, Kane's already seen now. He's tested the water. And he's seen how people don't really check for the move that he did. Yeah, people are saying model professional. But he's seen already, hmm, that move don't look, don't, it's not a good look for me to look like a contract rebel. But, I sit down, I keep my mouth quiet. Man City come back in for me now. I gotta go now because they've come again. Tottenham might be like in seventh or eighth. I've got I've scored a couple of goals. I've shown that I'm not throwing in the towel, right? Fans still love me and they protect my legacy. Man City come in now. By this time, if Kane is scoring the goals as well, Levy can say, yo. 
it's 150 now. You've had a whole quarter to accumulate some funds, Champions League money, etc. etc. Come see me again now. Look, 130 to 150, and you can take him. And they put the money up, and Kane is a blue by the end of January. Mark my words that I said that. I should put some money on it. Because the rest of this don't make sense, man. Right now, man looks like he's just got literally pimp slapped back into training. And he just looked like a, a naughty boy. It's like, man, man, you know when a man get told to apologise? That's what it looked like. <laughs> like, like, God, they ain't going to tell them that you're sorry. That's what it looked like. And he's like, yeah, so um, I, I, I'll be staying at Tottenham. I'm going to give um, 100% and um, we'll be focused on helping the team. This is crackers, mate. But yeah, that scenario I told you, mark my words, that's what that's what's gonna run. Yeah. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. This this is a mad situation. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens with Kane. But I tell you, they they proper trying to protect this guy, man. It's so annoying. Man went on strike and done an interview and somehow still comes out and he's not a villain. Madness. Madness. Sterling. Sterling did a little interview and throw his toys out the pram. And we still boo him now. <laughs> he left in 20, what, 2015? And we still boo him now. And Kane has gone on strike. He's done worse than what Sterling's done. He's done worse than what Sterling done. And this guy just he's like Teflon. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.